today I'm going to be teaching you how to tell time to the nearest minute on a clock. So the first thing to understand um, when telling time on a clock is that there are two different hands. There's one that is shorter and one that is longer. The short hand is going to tell us the hour and the long hand is going to tell us the minute. And a good way to remember this is if you look at the word minute, it's much longer than the word hour. So the word minute, longer than hour, so it gets the longer hand. So we have hour, so it gets the shorter hand, and then we have minute, longer word, longer hand. And there are going to be up to 60 minutes in one hour. Another thing that is important to understand is what the numbers represent. So when we're referring to the hour, we're going to look at the big numbers right here and all the way around. However, when we are trying to figure out what exact minute it is, we have to use these numbers to figure it out. It's like if the minute hand was pointing to this one right here, we're not going to say it is 1201. When we're doing minutes, you count each of these little little ticks right here, all these little ones. So if you were to count all the way around, you'd get like one, two, three, four, and then number five would be on the one. And you could count all the way around, and if you do that, all the time you got all the way over here, you would get to 60. Now that would take a very long time to count, but there is a shortcut you can keep in mind. So we saw that by the time we got to the 1, we were at 5. Which means by the time we get to 2, we'll be at 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So we know that if we count by fives on each of these numbers right here, we're going to get the amount of minutes that number represents. So like if the minute hand was on this five exactly, we could do count by fives five times and know that it would be 25 after. But if it's not exactly on one of those numbers, like how it is in this example, you can use these numbers just to help you get there faster. So right now this minute hand is in between 5 and 4. But it's not quite to the 5 yet, so I'm going to count by 5s until I get to this 4. And then I'll just add on ones until I get to where it's pointing to. So I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23. So I know my minute hand is 23. When you figure out your hour hand, you're going to just use these big numbers right here. And all you do is you look at the two that it's in between. This one's in between 6 and 7 and it's going to go to the lower number. So this is in between 6 and 7, so it is 623. We'll do examples.
Okay. Starting with A. We're going to look where the hour hand is first. This one is in between 9 and 10. So that means my hour is going to be 9. My minute hand is not quite to the 60 yet, so I'm going to count by 5s until I get to my 5, and then just add on 1s. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, so it is 9, 29. For B, my hour hand is in between 8 and 9, so I'm going to put 8. Then to get my minute hand, I'm going to do, this is in between the 5 and the 4, so I'm going to do 5 times 4 and get 20, and then add 21, 22. Right here, this one is a little tricky. The hour hand is in between 10 and 11. It is almost to the 11, but it is not quite there. That means we're going to write 10. And the minute hand, let me erase this so we can see it better. The minute hand is in between the 11 and 12. So I'm going to count by fives until I get all the way around where my minute hand is. So you can go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then go 56, 57, and get it that way. Or you can just say that you know 5 times 11 is 55. So if we were right here, we'd be at 55, and then go 56, 57. Letter D, my first step, look where my hour hand is. It's in between 7 and 8, so I'm going to put the lower number is 7. Now my minute hand is a little after the 9. So I can just, I know that 5 times 9 is 45. So I can go start at 45 and go 46, 47, 48, 49. My letter E. First step, look at my hour hand in between 12 and 1. So I put my 12. And then for my minute hand, you can just count all the way up. You can know that 5 times 1 would be 5, so we can start counting at 5, whichever method works best for you. I'm going to start at my 5 and go 6, 7, 8. So it's 12.08. Now if I were to think about this answer, it makes sense because it's a little after 12, so it makes sense that this minute hand is not very far past where the 12 is right now. When looking at this one up here, 10.57 is almost 11 o'clock, and look where the hour hand almost is. It is almost at 11 o'clock. Last one. Step one, hour hand. In between 12 and 11, so I'm going to put 11. My minute hand is a little past my 10, so you can count by fives all the way around. Or I'm just going to do 5 times 10 is 50, and then add 1, so it's 11, 51. So when you do this on your own, first step, make sure you look at where the hour hand is, and then you look at where the minute hand is, and you can either count by fives to help you get up there, or you can count every little tick, whichever way helps you get there.